I landed in Mumbai and I always love getting to India and it's just something about the energy of this place, the sounds, the smells, but the one thing I need to do whenever I land is eat a doza. And I'm taking you in now to my very favorite breakfast spot, Dakshinayan. South Indian cuisine is very different from other regions across India. It's, uh, I would like to say, quite light. There's a lot of curry patta in the, the dishes and they've created a specific uh, gunpowder here that they've used the curry leaves as the base. And I'll be taking you through all my favorite dishes. Let me order now. So doza is actually a really famous breakfast food and it's delicious. It's this crispy, flat, crepe-like dish and it, I'm going to order a masala doza because that's my favorite. So I'll have the masala doza and the idli, which, which idli? Yeah, with the gunpowder, yeah. And I'll also go for a buttermilk and of course I need to have the, it's kappa, kappa is it? The filter coffee, yeah, yeah my perfect breakfast. <laughs> Oh, it looks so good. I've got my idli here coated in that delicious gunpowder, which is their specialty here. We've got our beautiful tem, uh, tangy kind of tomato broth here as well. I've got my coconut chutney, which I always ask for extra bowls of this one. I'm about to dig in, but I'm just waiting for my dozer to come. doza that I'm so obsessed with. It's made from a fermented rice with uh, black ram and it's you know left overnight so it gets this when it's cooked perfectly and fermented perfectly you get that little bit of a flavor uh, from the fermented rice but I'm gonna dig in. So crispy. Mm. Yum. I would literally fly to Mumbai just to eat at this place. I love it. Mm. I love in India how with all the dishes there's a lot of drinks that go along with it as well and it helps to cool the body and it's soothing. And this buttermilk, it's delicious, you know, it just, it's really refreshing, cleanses the palate after, you know, a little bit of that spicy food and it's really refreshing. This is my ideal breakfast, but there's so many more options as well. And now for the South Indian filter coffee called Kapi. <laughs> I'll get it eventually. They do this uh, pouring motion, so it gets nice and frothy as well. Yeah, he's much better than I am. <laughs> I need practice. <laughs> Amazing, it looks so good. Wow, you got a lot of froth there. <laughs> okay, now I'm content. That was absolutely delicious. I, you know, it's one of those dishes where it looks so simple, but it's actually very complex and it's given me so much energy. I'm all set. I've got a big day ahead, so I've got an event coming up and I've created a menu and I've got a masterclass. So I just wanted to take you behind the scenes to show you what goes into pulling off one of these events. I have arrived at the festival. Let's go inside. 
I'm going to take you inside my pop-up cafe. We've got lots of exciting things happening in here. I'm going to show you some media interactions, a bit of a masterclass, and of course, some tasty food. So take a look around. So it's been an amazing day. The sun is going down now and I'm just about to start my masterclass and do a bit of a pairing masterclass with my dishes. So let's do this. Alrighty, masterclass is about to start. I've got a really simple dish I'm putting together. It's inspired by the uh, uh, Indian street food with the rajma. So um, I'm making a spiced beans that's going on top my wedges with uh, sour cream, some chives, and some jalapenos as well. And then Yvonne is gonna be teaching me a perfect cocktail to pair with that one as well. So we're about to get started. I often get told, um, or you know, ask the question, when I am going out to a restaurant, do I judge it on the food? And actually I don't, you know, I think there's so many things that go into running a successful restaurant. inspired dish with the spiced beans served with the sour cream um, we've got spring onions and jalapenos I'm just gonna really simply plate this one up for you and chef's gonna help me out as well but I've also got Yvonne here from uh, black and white and I'm gonna get you to jump up so I I wanted to talk through you know the um, inspiration behind you know uh, pairing cocktails with food That's a wrap, it was such a fun day. It's finally finished my masterclass, which again, audience was amazing and very interactive. Now I'm gonna go and check into my hotel room, to be honest, but thank you all for coming along with me and I'll see you soon.